These are Camelanus worms that I found today in my um, spin filter. And um, so apparently my tilapia are infected with these, probably from the snails that come from the plants that come from the nursery. So uh, now I've got to get rid of these guys. And I'm not really sure what I'm going to do because to use a um, anti-parasite medicine is uh, well it's quite in quite a laborious process where uh, you um, are supposed to uh, put this in your system and then I think it was one week later you're supposed to uh, completely clean your system and uh, because all it does is paralyze these worms. It doesn't kill them, it just paralyzes them. So you clean your system and then you dose it again and you do this three times. Well, I, it's an 800 gallon tank with a 200 gallon sump tank and then I've got my grow bed. Um, not exactly what I'm looking forward to doing, you know. So, um, I don't exactly know how much salt they can take. I know they're not real fond of a of a brine solution. So I'm going to just keep bumping the brine up, bumping the salt up until I see something happen. I don't know how. It's a, it's actually it's actually kind of hard finding these guys because well, I have to flush this this flush the um, spin filter and then look at a bucket and look for these tiny tiny little worms okay what we're looking down into is the bottom of a jar that measures about two and a half inches across so as you can see they're fairly small you know about oh, I'd, I'd say the largest one there is about five eighths of an inch long and what happens is these guys there's three, there's several stages, and these guys are now out of the word, out of the fish, and uh, they will go through some different stages. Where uh, this is the stage where they entice the fish to eat them, and uh, so the fish eat them, and then they be, they get into the digestive tract and they suck the blood, which which is why they're red, and then they go through several molts and um, finally they're pooped out only to reproduce more and then entice more fish to eat them so that they can spread their evil <laughs> anyway this is what I'm dealing with right now and I appreciate the reef connections I want to put a little word for them um, here in Chico we've got one very good uh, aquarium store and Mary down there quickly diagnosed the problem and told me what it was and showed me on the internet and uh, so then I did some research and uh, discovered that yeah, I've, I've actually got quite a problem here they, they live in crustaceans and I believe they're actually classified as a nematode but uh, yeah I don't know I don't like it <laughs> okay well that's uh, th that's all I've got